Our gracious Father and Lord in heaven, we're so thankful for this day and everything more with it as it is. Thankful for the opportunity we have to assemble and to discuss the business of the residents of the city of Beaverdam. Have your blessings upon us that we'll do so in an acceptable manner and we're doing every, making all our decisions is for the best interest of all parties concerned. Bless us and give us wisdom to understand and to comprehend. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome everyone out tonight. Let's see, we got short of short house up here. I've got, I know one's in with the granddaughter in Washington, Washington, yeah, Washington or Oregon, somewhere there. And then I guess Kevin's in Florida. He's on vacation. <laughs> Hurricanes in Florida. What's he doing down there? I'm uh, in Florida too much longer. Getting windy. <laughs> Okay, but well we do have a quorum, so we'll go ahead and get started. The first item of business will be approval of minutes. Move approval. Minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second for further discussion. Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Uh, Opposed to same. Next item is the bills. Pay the bills. Second. We have a motion and a second for further discussion. Those in favor with aye. Aye. Opposed to same. Motion passes. No old business this month. New business. First item is approve the KLC liability grant submission. Um, Larry would advise that we would apply for some water meter with transponders, and then there is a new kit that I guess is going to have to upgrade the laptop in which they read the meters. So that's the two items that's on the list. What's, what was the total of that? Um, Transponders are 42, 54, 39, and that kit is 1875. I think it was just a little over 6,000. He's on he, uh, the same type we already have. It's a 50 50 match. Yeah. So. The transponders are the same type we already transponders have. Transponders are the same. We just only have a certain point. Okay. Span, so. <sighs> well, we apply for the grant. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Was in favor of saying five nine. Uh opposed sign. Motion passes. And next is the test of fire dues and billing on old nine city road residents. Well, oh, Chris, you told me about it. Why don't you just catch everybody else about this? Well Mary knows a little bit more about it too, but what it is is we have fire down in St. Butler County and it's on their tax dues tax bill that they pay their fire dues. He didn't pay them in Butler County. We just had to see any of them. Uh, and he paid half his bill now, and then he went ahead and paid his fire dues to us for this year. So it's whatever we all want to do if you want to leave him what he's paid and instead of the other half or reimbursing him, or it's whatever we all want to do. Well, I don't know that we can charge him fire dues because he's not in Omaha County. Uh, Butler County charges the dues and collects them, but I know the Cromwell Fire Department went to them several years ago and started getting the yeah, pay Charlie back. I'm not sure why us. we haven't done that. Charlie's working on that for us. Why have we not done it before? Well, there for a while, Butler Morgantown was first out for them, but now their trucks are too big to cross the ferry. So now it's our first out. It got dumped on us and I didn't know it. Who decides where, who's first out? Usually the two chiefs will get together and add something in county deal. Now an out of county deal, I don't, I don't usually the judge executives will get together and along with the chiefs, you know, we'll all be included in it, but it wasn't done. It was kind of put on us. How long have we been first responders for that area? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean we made several medical runs down there and stuff, but but usually we're second out for them. We run mutual aid to them because we get there quicker than other county departments there in Butler County. But they had a smaller truck that they used to cross the ferry with and they got rid of that. I believe we all leave this long until we get that dues. I, yeah, I don't think we can do down. anything because we can't. I mean, we can't charge him because he's not on my county rent. So do I need to give him the $30? And you say Charlie's already working on trying to get that. Charlie's working on that. Yeah, but as far as it's thirty dollars, I would think he might 
clarifying it for me. And speaking of, here he comes. He went and paid the $30 We've got questions for you. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Resident that lives in Butler County pays fire dues to Butler County, but it's in a Beaver Dam first response area, and there was a fire, and we responded, and we built it for it. He's paid it, but he's wanting to pay dues to Beaver Dam, so he doesn't have to pay a bill in the future. My question: Can we even charge someone outside of Wyoming County fire dues? No. That's what I, kind of what I thought. But now, what they have done, and I, I know Charlie's working on it. I'm, like I said, I don't know why we haven't done it before. Cromwell has the same issue with parts of uh, Butler County that they are first responding to. Butler County collects the dues, but then Butler County turns over the dues to the Cromwell Fire Department. Well, they can do that for the ones who live in that area, and, and that they're seeing if we can do that with the ones that are in the Beaver Dam first out. Yeah, you can do that if they do it. Yeah, that's but that's up to Butler County. Yes. Yeah. It could be reversed. You could have parts of you could have parts yeah. of Ohio County that fall within somebody else's. But but once you start trying to tax cross county lines, I, mean, I don't know where that ends really. But you, you surely could have a cooperative agreement with the governmental entities across mm -hmm. the line, and that might be the way to do it. But uh, well, they're, they're working on that now. But this was something this gentleman, he went ahead and paid us $30, but I, I think we need to refund it because I don't think we can. You need to give that back, don't we? He paid us $30 and he paid half of the bill for the fire he had. We we actually made a run. Yes. And he he was billed yes. by the city. Yes. I see that he's already paid due to Butler and supposedly he thought he would cover it, I'm sure. Well, and he actually is. Yeah, he, he actually is covered. Did they respond to? Okay. Huh? No, it was us and Cromwell. Their trucks are too big to come across the ferry now. The only way you get to that is by ferry. Or come all the way through Cromwell and the Beaver Dam and down Prince Road. Down in the little bend area down in there. There's no complaints from Butler County about us billing and being paid. No. No, we brought this up. And the older gentleman's not complaining about anything. He just wants to pay his fire dues. So if he has a fire again, he doesn't have to be billed again. To pay it to who he needs to, who's responding to. That's what he told me. He wants to pay who's coming. Now, it's kind of a volunteer thing. We didn't actually bill him for dues. He just wants to pay it to guarantee he won't get a big bill if we have to go back. Yeah, I think you're telling me if it's another fire, we are going to have to go back. Mm -hmm. Yes. And he'll get another big bill. So that's why he wouldn't volunteer to pay that thirty dollars. Unless we work out that agreement with Butler, then they won't be a bill, right? Correct. Correct. Because so I think that's our first avenue. Is this is this type thing ever been addressed? Well, it's, it, it has from the Cromwell Fire Department, not from Beaver Dam. Not Beaver Dam. Not sure why we never have done that. We just have. I'm sure that's not the first time that we've made a run yet. No, we've made it's the first one, it's first out. Now, we've been down there back in Butler County up before. They hollered for us to come help them. But they had a truck that they could cross the ferry on, and they got rid of it. The ones they got now are too big. So that's have, our first part of being first responder. Yeah, now we're first out. Have there been occasion in which they've ever responded in Ohio County as a first responder? In our area? Yeah. No. Not since they got rid of the truck, it won't cross the ferry. No, they will. Uh, 
Um, the, 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 the he's billed in this case he's billed by which fire department? Us only. No, I meant from a tax standpoint. From the uh, other county's got it on their tax bill when you pay your property tax. You pay the fire dues. But you can opt out of it, is the way they got it set up over Some do, some don't. Okay. That's the first time this has come up, has it come up before? First time, I'm first time I know of. Like I said, I just learned in the last month or so that Cromwell's been getting their money from Bible County for a while. And I'm kind of curious if Charles said why like we're not. <coughs> we're working on that now. I, 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 I'd say um, this passed this for a month. This is the first time it's ever come up. And I'm, I don't think I've ever heard of that one before. Charles, do you recall this ever come up before? No, not not too near. I don't, I, I, I don't recall it, um, but but obviously if we're going that far, um, if somebody's to be compensated, it needs to be, we need to get the compensation. Butler County probably wouldn't be opposed to it. How, how were they addressed by Cromwell, do you know? You know just the, Charlie took care of it. And, and whatever families are in the Cromwell first out, whatever they collect, it comes back to the Cromwell department. The Campbell County pays it into. Uh, let me call Dick Dye and I'll report back in the next meeting. But I think in the meantime, really what's up for right now is we need to reimburse him his $30, don't we? Yeah, I think so. Can you pay cash or check? Cash. Okay. And like I say, he's already paid part of the bill. I don't think he was questioning the bill, just. He didn't have to happen again. And I think the only correct that is to get the Butler County on board. Well, we'd, we'd be satisfied with the same agreement Crown was got. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that'd be no different than what we've got with our own residents. Everybody okay with that? Keith, you good? No? Everything's moving. No, I'm fine. I've got it. I've got the deed to the uh, alley. Scott, he is in uh, Florida. Uh, we got his, his done as well. His assignment comes back. But this is the one for the alley for you to sign the Chris? Uh, I'm going to some guys I need to send to the uh, fall school. $30, I just want to see if they can put the school, bring where they can be it before reimbursing the $30 for the class. I just want to see how many y'all want to reimburse. I got some new guys that there's some classes they got to have for certification and it's all from there. It's $30 a class. Is that the on North World? Yes, yeah, on North World. Right there, so we, you know, no motel, no food. They'll catch you up for their hour pretty close for this year? They're getting close to their certification. I have a problem with that. I that How many do you want to? How many do you need to go? I've got six of these go if they can. If not, At $30 each? Yeah. yeah. If they can go, I think I'll spend yeah. There's no way they'd be reimbursed if they complete the class and pass Yeah. they got to bring back our complete certification. Yes. I'll make that a form of motion that form complete certification to be reimbursed. There's a motion to second any further discussion. Those in favor say that out. Both saying. Motion passes. Go. We're going to move. Just. Okay, so <laughs> I'd just like to bring this to your all's attention. Uh, we're with the Promise Home, and we have obtained some land that currently sits in the county, but it's right adjacent to the city. And we'd like to get permission to get a city meter and tap onto the city sewer. You can add to the city then what you're trying to say. Do you want do you want annexed or you just want city services? We want city services right now. Well the city services if you're not if you're out of town are higher than if you're in the city. And if you're not proper position, you would not be taxed. Who owns the property? That's the question. The problem is okay. And the nonprofit, right? Yes. So don't tax. 
but it'd be less cheaper on the utility. Is it all non profits? See, the sewer line runs. Oh. All right, here's Taylor Mine Road uh -huh. here. The sewer line runs through our property. It runs through the property through here. Uh, okay, I know where you're at. You have an added. The veterinarian. The veterinarian here. Yeah. Where where you're all supposed to be at? Track two and the three. Track two and three is just the. And you're active at where? Right about in here. You're going to be coming off the. We're going to be coming through. This is her land, and we're going to make our right of way through there. You're going to be able to throw down here. Yes. And the house was set. City Super City Super is right here. Already. That's what we need to get another apartment on that before we start trying to build it. Yeah, later on, I tell you, that's kind of stuff. Light up, we need to be at how far we want to run stuff, which is just as a whole other person. This is a modular home that we're sitting there, too. It's a lot better. So we're not going to be building it for something. Zero line runs right through here. We're sitting in the house like right here. All the neighbors here know what's going on? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. I know these two do. That's my mother in law. And that's she knows that yeah. we own this. That one does too. Yeah. I'm not sure. Well, I'm not. But anyway. I'm not sure if we put it there, but that, they're going to say they're going to have a module. It will have to be zoned to have to come in. This is, well, this is a modular here. Yeah, that's yeah. the same. But this is R2 already. This isn't in city limits yet. I know. Okay. Uh, but, but come in with that evidence saying it's going to cost you a lot more with utilities. I don't care if you're doing that with you. I don't care if you're giving utilities. But you, get, you get utilities either way. You just yeah. have to pay an out of town rate. It'd be a higher Like, how much would that be? Uh, I don't know. How much? What would you say the percentage? About 30 percent, I think. Yeah, 5 percent. So, but if you're annexed, then you got to comply with planning with zoning. So, well, but they're already there. Yeah. Yeah. I had a problem. If you like to think about it, get back well, here. Well, we were Yeah. No, it's. Yeah. It's it's I mean, do we. Well, we can always approve it and then come in and have to re annex later. Yeah. I just go ahead and approve we don't have so out of town services. About Larry making sure you're marking it all the foundation, yeah, you don't have over any service lines, right? Then I'll get a little half of it and I'll count right. And then if you want to be added later, you can yeah, make sure you start construction or getting it set up. Yeah. Oh, we're, yeah, we're just doing we're this right now. Just well, I mean, we've got more room for later like but anyway, right now we just want to get this done. But we're getting pretty close to starting to cut the road and do that stuff, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you that for a motion, Mary? Yes. I, I you see, have the you know okay. If you decide later to come back to the you can. Uh, I'd like to prove that I've got services for that. Second. We have a motion second. Now I have another question. Wait. Is there all back? Oh. <laughs> quoted in that. Got a quote in this. <laughs> Is it about the same thing about the sewer? Yeah. Yes. Okay, we'll wait before we vote in. Okay. Discussion, I guess, right? Yeah. Is there any help available to help pay for that meter for the sewer or the water or however that works? Water meter and for the, the not for profits. Never had that question. Have you? I don't think we've got, I don't know of anything we've ever done in no. since I've been here. I'm just asking, you know. Uh, I mean, I churches and all that always pay for their own because they have a special place of income. And right. It's different than you guys. But, but we are providing a service to the community mm -hmm. completely with volunteers, so. I just thought I'd ask. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be a first. Well, I, we have actually housed almost 80 women and children since we've opened two years ago. So. You're doing good. Nobody, nobody. Well, I've heard good things about it. Oh. It's, I just know that $1,000 or $1,500, you know, would be a big help for us. The water meter is $750, but I'm thinking an out of town sewer tap is different than the in town. Probably. Again, I have to look at my page. We don't do too many out of town taps. I yeah. can tell you in town, but in town's two fifty. But I'm thinking out of town's different price. I was calculating a thousand to fifteen hundred. It would just ballpark it. 
Y'all just take them into the classroom. To approve the book up. Okay. All those in favor saying no, aye. Aye. Both saying motion passes. The voice got choked up. Okay, thank you. Andy? Yeah. Well, I'm going to discuss about the, the bill for the building of construction and on the new model. Uh, I mean, for some reason or other, I think we've got some timelines, frames out of black there. <coughs> From the very beginning, the bid was. You know, from the day of the bids, I was about $40,000 cheaper because I've done a lot of crunching on the numbers to make sure I try to get this because it's local. And then after we got the bid, I come in and showed you that we could save you about another 10000 on some lighting and some stuff that we've done, and we looked over the bid. And since then, basically, there's a lot of things that we come across that during the construction that slowed us down and different things, but I did not say I made notes on it and different things but I didn't stop the construction I just kept on going uh, the floor is really level in here where the door is for instance it was three inches lower where that door is right now we had to take up all the concrete it was busted you know I could have just stopped the project right then and said hey we need to get another bid on this and do some things different but I didn't I went ahead and went on through told them yeah, we gotta go just keep on you know leveled it up brought it up same way when we was outside doing the construction on the parking lot here on the patio. When we was digging that up, the concrete people called me and said, we got problems. Come over here, there was no foundation on the end or any of the brickwork. So when we was trying to take it out, basically the brick on the building was trying to come off. So we had to stop and have a the building, have a basically bolt the brick up onto the building to keep it from coming loose. I got pictures of it, I got the contractor you know, there again, I could have stopped the project and asked for another two or three days, but I told them, now, I said, let's bump it on there. I showed them what we wanted done. We poured the footers, got it all back into place. You know, just, I know that wood stuff was in the contract, uh, but things that we did extra all the way through out. Another thing is the evidence around that we did. They had a drop ceiling put in, in the contract on the blueprints. Well, why would you have a drop ceiling at evidence room? I mean, obviously, you can walk in that hallway, pop a tile up, pop their tile up, and be down in there where there's basically everything available to you. I mean, it'd be easy access. So I talked to Mike Allen. We discussed about putting a solid ceiling and putting plywood over top of it, sealing it off to make it a lot more secure. You know, <clears throat> and some other things that we did that took a little extra time. I didn't stop and ask for extra time. I didn't ask for extra money for it. Uh, the evidence locker that they wanted that was not on the bid. I had somebody build one. I did not charge you for it. We put it in. You know, there's several things like that. Wasn't on the part of the add-on for this. No, no. The evidence locker was not. You know, was not on the on the contract or anything. Cause they no, said they was going to take care of it because it was anywhere from five thousand to twenty thousand dollars. I said, you know, this is you know such a wide span. And Mike come to me and said, hey, can you get somebody to build one out of wood? And I said, yeah. You know, because once we was looking on the internet, it was extremely expensive and you know, all this stuff. So anyway, I had a guy build it out of wood and made it, and he said that was going to work for five. We built them gun racks and some other stuff. And but all <coughs> that stuff was charged for, right? What's that? The gun rack and evidence locker was charged? No. The city was not charged for it. You look on your buildings. All the thing that is in the evidence locker it was built was the shelving that I sold to them at cost and the, the bins that I ordered for them for at cost. And we brought over here, I had my guys come over here and assemble them, put them in place and put it all up. And that, you know, that we didn't charge for, to put it all together. You know, there again, we just done it out of just trying to help out. Only thing that I know of that we was really behind on was the floor covering here after the June 15th deadline was and one of the things was we didn't hurry up and put the floor down because the police still had stuff in the evidence locker and on this floor at that time. So we did not, I talked to Mike Allen. He said, yeah, we'll be out of here in just a matter of a little bit of time. So I held up on that because he said he didn't want to move that 500 pound vault across the new floor. So I just going by what he said. And then, you know, like I said, we could have pushed it, probably got in here a little quicker, but we did go past the deadline on the floor. 
but one of the things was, like I said, we was waiting on some stuff to get moved. Oh, but this guy here was supposed to be done by March 15th. Yeah. <coughs> uh, but I know some of the stuff went past. What I'm saying is, though, Paul, just some of the contract I know was supposed to have been done. There's a lot of stuff that we did extra that, you know, like I said, I should have stopped and just held up. We had to put extra plywood in the gables here because of the firewall that was not on the bid. You can pull up one of those tiles, look up there, there's all new plywood up there. And I had to the guys, they said, hey, what are we going to do here? This is not sheeted. I had them said sheeted. We sheeted it all so that firewall could go up to the sheeting on that thing. It was not on the contract. It was not on blueprints or nothing. The drain out here for that, they didn't have no underground system going. They just going to dump the water on the patio. So I had them put in a drain, you know, to drain the water off, you know. Things like that we did throughout the project to make sure, you know, that basically get the done right and get some going on with it. Uh, you know, we was inspected on June 15th, which we couldn't get to final because of the parking situation. Uh, you know, that was held us up. After that, I was given a list in July, a little punch list that we done in a matter of a couple hours, some paintings and stuff that we touched up on the hallways and different things. And I told them then, I said, hey, wait till you moved. And then once we come in here, because there were scratches on the hallway where they moved stuff, and there was some stuff that we probably missed. There were some nail pops in the drywall that my guys, you know, we went in and fixed it. But literally, there was just a little punch list that took two hours to do. Then after that, in August, uh, Larry brings me over here and tells me about the drywall seams and tells me he wants that fixed. Which, you know, before that, I was told not to fix it. We fixed this wall because it was back in April. We sanded it down, made it smooth. Mike Allen standing right there, I asked him, do you want us to fix this wall here? He said, no, he said, it's good, leave it alone. That was in April. Why, yeah. I'm gonna stop right, why did you talk to Mike Allen? He's the only one I was talking to out here during all this. Mike Allen, one, me and him walked around here, he's the one that pointed out this wall here, and I said, yeah, we need to fix that. And Mike's the one who showed me about half the stuff that's going on until after June, then Larry. Larry's the one who should have been talking to all along. I mean, yeah. Well, this out here, I mean, in the police parcels. Yeah. Michael, this out here, it doesn't do me wrong. Well, I mean, but he was the one kind of just, you know, I don't know, like I said, when I come over every day, he was telling me stuff, you know, I don't know whether he was talking to Larry too, but at that time, he asked Mike, he said, no, he said, that wall's good enough, he said, leave it alone. So we left it alone. Then sometime in August, Larry comes back and says, no, we want to go ahead and fix it, which the next day, I had a guy in here fixing it, and it took about three days to fix it, and we got it done. But the only thing I'm asking is that, you know, the bill I give you was a fair, straight up bid. It was $50,000 cheaper than anybody around. I just want to be paid my amount and that's it. I mean, you know, I just like to be paid in full and that's all. I mean, things that we did extra and stuff, I mean, I just, I was just trying to, I mean, like I said, I was trying to work for my neighbors and friends, but hey, I didn't realize we was just, you know, trying to crunch out some type of, you know, timelines there, but I mean, there wasn't nobody pushing to use this room at that particular time. And we just waiting, like I said, on the floor to move some stuff across it, you know. And some things that we come back in here and fixed with ceiling tile that the police had not the hose in, just to get the communication wires in and stuff. And you know, he was, Larry said, you know, hey, you need to fix this. And that's fine, we did fix it. I didn't charge you for any extra ceiling tile. There was some ceiling tiles that we broke. It was some part of the building. We fixed that too. You know, we went through everything and fixed everything. And, but he was making a time frame that, you know, we should have fixed that earlier. But, you know, some of the things we didn't even see at the time. But, you know, like I said, the tile that they run wires through to, for the temporary police station here, you know, we come back in and fixed it. And, and I just, you know, wanted to, you know, just, I know there's some things that we went past on, but there's some things that we got done, you know, on time and stuff too. But and we couldn't get our qualification done because of the parking situation. We would not pass it until everything was done on that. I just, you know, just wanted to see. Okay, well, let, unless you have anything, I'd like to get with Larry and Mike and, and you. Yeah. Sometime. I mean, I'd be glad to hash all this out. I don't know. I was on Mike's beer night. Oh, really? I need Larry and Mike here. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, that's fine. It's sometimes you want to have us. I mean, and when I sent you that message today, I didn't know they weren't going to be here. I had told you that we would have done this later. Yeah, that's fine. Just holler at me and I would like to say, well, we all, all just meet together. Oh, that's right. Yeah, his yeah. son. I, I remember that. He, did, he stuck his head in the door and told me that he had that rack. Give me a day or two because I, I don't think Larry left tonight. He probably won't be back till Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. Because they will have fall break like teachers. Yeah. But <coughs> we'll get together on that. Okay. Anybody have anything else? Do you call session or anything? I don't, Mary, do you know of anything we need one for? I don't mm -hmm. think so. Okay. Sorry. Don't say any more often. We can talk about it. Okay. Thank you. 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 Th